Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, by the way, don't forget to follow my my TikTok account, still at Max Creation for the updates. In today's video, we are going to talk about the updates. Let's talk about the updates, the updates of the uh, uh, jobs in Qatar. What are the updates? What are the latest updates available? First of all, when we're talking about what is happening right now, I know some of you, you must be stranded out there. Some of you must be waiting for the visas. You might have gotten offer letters before. Uh, people got offer letters in March, but still up to now, they've not gotten what you call visas. That situation do exist and that situation is there. For people who got offer letters, people finalize with all the papers, but the visas are not yet approved. Yes, you little, little bit, a little bit be patient because some of you, the paperwork is still moving on and maybe they're doing. Because remember, by that time when you applied, we already adding to what you call Ramadan. And when you have Ramadan, working hours in these Arabic countries or these Gulf countries, the Ramadan period, the working hours tentatively tend to reduce in one way. Some of them work, in, work from home. Some work as, as, as low as six hours. So meaning that there was a a hard somewhere so but again still the, the issue of it all that the visas are not yet out there must be something why the visas are being held because even the vis visas right now is a little bit very tricky why what is happening recruitment is now the, the the issue is all about the world cup remember we almost are speaking right now we almost like have 100 170 days to fifa world cup so you know the heart of it all that that was what happened that people are too are looking at a way of how to first maintain what is available than recruiting from out what i have to let you know that right now if you are in Qatar, you don't have to look for a job if you know Qatar and you for for people who are outside that you already have what you call offer letters and you're waiting for visas you yes definitely you have to wait a little bit because even the recruitment companies right now out there are not recruiting so much why because the visa they need to line up for the visa for that case they need to be approved until they can give them to you so for people who are already out and you already have the offer letters yes you have you need to hold on for a visa but what you need to do is keep in touch with that person keep in touch with that company that gave you the offer letters most of the time they have those numbers and they have the email addresses if you are so lucky it is there try to keep in touch with those people such that you can follow up and you can keep follow on in case they are in a heart they don't remember then you can definitely be reminded or you can remind them about about you that you are still interested in the job and you need the job that is the only that is your role to remind them but what i have to let you know that i have had complaints uh, about the visa the visa is not out i already got the offer letter yes i do understand and those things do happen because even at the same situation if you see people who have been changing jobs from here some of them have taken long to be approved because i think the system's a little bit busy and you know we never know what the government is doing and we cannot go inside what it's supposed to do at that time because we are not supposed to push them what to do they know what to do at the time but again for the latest updates for people who are in Qatar and you're looking for a job my friend my dear friend my dear brothers and sisters let me try to let you something and if you're looking for that job you're looking for a dream just put your ear out because there's, there's a lot of what we call walk-in interviews there's a lot of what we call look in walk-in interviews what am I talking about that Companies are advertising, uh, advertising working interviews for people who are eligible, for people to come and start working. So if definitely the only thing that I'll, I'll just remind you is just that prepare your CV, prepare your cut ID if your cut ID is old or if you have your visa paper, prepare that, have your CV. Have your passport in case you have it, have the passport with you. When you hear a working interview, just go try out your luck. Make sure that the CV that you've drafted or the CV that you've drafted is something that is going to sell you, something that is going to portray the kind of person the company will be looking for. I think there are a lot of opportunities. We are looking at cleaning opportunities. We are looking at hospitality opportunities. Recently, we had, uh, we had St. Regency. That's St. Regency, one of the hotels. It was recruiting walk-in interview that is one on 29th of uh, 29th of, uh, of, 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 of april or 29th of may and uh, 30th the recruiting that was a walk-in interview you needed to present your 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 cv you present your your updated cv your id your passport then you go and your copy 
Cut ID copy, you go inside for the uh, for the interview. You never know what may happen at that situation. Then something still I need to remind you because even listen right now. Apparently, for people who are working in security, we have a walking interview that is on fourth. We have on third and fourth people who want to join Stack Security Company. It's recruiting locally. There is a walking interview at Al Shahania. UCC that is get three for people who can go there. I'll put the contact and I'll put for you the direction. I'll put for you all in the description. I'll also put for you where exactly the exact location. So if you can go there and you feel you want to join security and you feel you've ever heard of Stark Security Company and you can still go, go try out that. You never know what may happen. God may be with you at that time and you, you change from this other job that you know to what to another job that is going to elevate you in one way or the other. So that's what I would tell the people, the latest updates I'll tell people who are inside the country, that companies are now resorting to recruiting locally. People in the Taliban, people in the Sanu, uh, Sunomo, people in uh, Rafiq, the companies are recruiting locally because it is becoming a little bit cheaper than recruiting out. Why? Because recruiting out the visas are getting a little bit on hold of which they need, they need the manpower and they need to recruit right now. That is what I can say. So for people who are looking for jobs right now, you definitely, and you feel you want to change and that's what you feel you want, then probably you can try out most. Do the connections with people around. Try to go in some of this work and interview. It will be of beneficial. Thank you so much for seeing it, uh, for watching the videos to this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. The returning subscribers, thank you so much. It's Max from the next question. By the way, I keep on reminding you, if you your first time to come across this channel, please consider sub uh, subscribe to this channel. Support this channel by subscribing. Remember, it's Max from the next question. See you again in the next video and the latest updates.